workers across America, including South Carolina and the Darlington area. To learn more about Green Flag NASCAR is back. Some even down on the apron. You can see here already three wide. Kyle Bush on the outside, all the way down on the apron. The uh, double zero gets some contact from John Hunter Nemechek. You can see Reddick still on the on the bottom. Oh, it's all almost four wide at the very bottom. Makes contact, sends him directly into that inside wall and then into that. You see Jimmy turns down low, runs all four of that anchor like he's been doing. Oh, the 17 had to check up just a little bit. Jimmy's right front made contact and turned him around. Boy, it didn't take much, just the tiniest bit. Oh, yeah, you can see the 17 pusher just gets a little bit, makes a little contact outside wall, checks out. In the 48 of Jimmy Johnson, that ally Chevrolet made contact. Boy, so disappointing. Of all the unbelievable things I've seen in this sport, that is right up there. Jimmy Johnson going for the stage win. Precious. Turn three after Denny Hamlin just made the move. You saw right away an issue for William Byron in that 24 car. The car wiggled, stepped out. He just tried to correct it and made contact with outside wall. I really believe this started back off of turn two because when Denny was able to get to the inside of him, that had not been the lane that he had been running. And he had to, to, to really check up there when Denny went by. I, th I think something was going on even earlier. Eric Jones had to jump on the brakes. Face some action there. Now this is somewhat similar. I know we heard Regan say that there's a loose tire on the 24 car, but this is something kind of similar. It comes off the turn two. Doesn't look like he made any contact with the ball. Yeah, he starts high. to get loose early in the middle of turns three and four. Does a long slide. Brian Blaney avoids it. Here pops the tire. Oh, he did make some contact with that left front. Might not have made it. So there's Logano on pit road in the middle of your screen. And there's Busher having having problems. Well, yeah, look, I don't know if the night a lot of things to get back to pit road. And we're told Logano did get to uh, the the uh, timing line at the center of pit road, the start finish line. Yeah, he got really loose. I don't know if he was. I don't think he was trying to get to pit road. It's possible, but I think he just got really loose in the middle of turns three and four, saved and lost all that momentum. And then that was this is riding on board. Well, that almost looked like a tire issue, like, like it was going low. Because you could see he was just walking it up the racetrack trying to save it right there. And the question, I'm, I'm going to guess he spins, yeah. He yeah. spins down here. That's going to bring out the caution. He almost cuts into that inside wall at the same time. Flag with one left to go, sponsored by Credit One Bank. To the hill, waving him to the inside. Back straight away, final time. Kevin Harvick is about to become the 14th driver in NASCAR Cup history. 
history to reach 50 career victories, breaking a tie with Tony Stewart for 15. Harvick wins. NASCAR's return to action at Darlington. four-year-old from Bakersfield scored his last win at Texas last November, six races ago. He's the fourth driver to win in the five races of 2020 so far.